my eyes, I don't see uh, I don't see Fury as a champion. He's still going. You know, he ain't the champion yet. We got we still got one more fight left. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did you not see the fight? Did you not see it? When? Listen, I'm a huge fan of Deontay Wilder. I love knockouts, and he's a knockout artist, but you're, you're losing it, buddy. Bro, I, you're think, losing it. I we, think that proves that Tyson Fury whipped your ass. Is, is, a, is that a real question? Is he the champion? Did he not beat your ass and stop you in, what, seven rounds? I think your question is, is this a healthy mentality for him to head into the fight, the third fight? Absolutely not. It's Especially not. if he gets his ass whooped again. It's not. Okay, which is not impossible. I understand that Deontay Wilder does still have a puncher's chance. I'll give him that. Oh, he He's does. very dangerous. And he hurt Tyson before, so he can... Do it again, but it's not gonna be easy. Chances are you're gonna get your ass whooped again. And what are you gonna say then? And I'm are not, you that fucking narcissistic? What are you gonna say after hey. you get your ass kicked again? Yeah, I, I beat it. Everybody out there know I beat it. Everybody out there know I beat it. I controlled the fight. He was missing. I hit him clean more times. I beat him. It's not the right route to go. Give him his credit. And if you win by knockout, it's gonna be fucking amazing. If you really, if you really was her or whatever, but don't. His ego yeah. hasn't accepted the loss quite yeah, yet. Yeah, regardless of anything, if it was 80%, 100%, 12%. Wait, so for that lost. reason alone, you look, lost. for it. that reason alone, they should have tune-up fights. Tyson Fury should fight someone else, and Deontay Wilder should fight someone else. You're not mentally ready for the rematch. Conor McGregor, at first, has similar reactions to that Khabib loss. He was saying hey, this and that. Now, he's already said it was a good scrap. He won. He's accepted it. You need to accept the loss in order to overcome the shortcomings of the loss, in my humble opinion. Has a guy Take ever- Take advice from a guy who's never fought. Definitely. No, <laughs> it's not- It's a mental- It's not healthy. It's not healthy for you to say shit like that. Like, That's you're not true. the champion. You didn't really beat me. Because like, even if that was not the case, and you wasn't 100%, the best thing to do is to shut the fuck up and come with the heat and then let people know, yeah, that wasn't me. But you got to show something. You sound like you're making excuses when you say Sean's shit. Sounds like a little that. delusional, too. Yeah, you sound Almost delusional. Almost sounds like he won't make the changes that he's going to need to make in order to win. Yeah, like we knew that you had no chance in hell in a boxing match. We expected you to land a big punch and knock him out. That's what the Wilder fans was expecting you. They didn't think you was gonna do nothing new. Oh, and with this and with this pandemic going around, he'll definitely have the absolute time to kind of accept it and understand and be more measured. Hopefully, you know. Because work, on, work on those things. If, if he has that mentality, I'm not interested in this. Fight. I'm a little upset that he let go of Breland too, so I kind of want him to get his ass. No, the in. reason he let go of Breland is also fucked up. Breland was caring for your life. He thought of your future. If he just lets you make it to the 12th round, how do you know you you make it to this third fight? We don't know these things. So, for many reasons, I think. His mindset is showing itself, and it's showing itself in a negative fashion. And I think it's not conducive for a champion to think in this regard, because he's such a champion. How many defenses did he have? How many top fighters did he beat in his most recent fights? He beat, I mean, he almost beat Tyson Fury in the 12th round. This guy is a, yeah. an extremely Wild talented is guy. definitely a talented guy. But he let's beat. name the three things that that's weird. The first one, the outfit. The Black Panther on steroids outfit. The shredder. The shredder, the shredder outfit. He had the shredder outfit that weighed to a 45 pounds. Yeah, that that cost him Which the you fight. should be able to carry that in your fucking right ear. Like you, come on, 45 pounds. He's acting like shit, he had man. it on 45 pounds for 45 yeah. minutes. No, he, that's fucking bullshit excuse, first of all, because you train at a high level for six to eight hours a day. You run up fucking stairs, you punch bags, do all types of calisthenics, 
and blood, sweat, and tears, and you're gonna tell me that because you had a fucking 45 pound jacket on in the back, warming up, you you got exhausted? Get the fuck out of here! Oh man, this this. So, I love Tyson Fury's reaction to what Deontay Wilder had to I say. Don't. Because Tyson Fury is looking at it like are you You're making us knockout artists look bad Especially when <laughs> I was such a fan And I I'm, I'm still think, you know, Deontay Wilder is a legit knockout artist He's definitely, I don't know if he's one of the greatest knockout artists But, I mean, he is obviously But I don't think he's better than Tyson or, or, or George Foreman But I do believe that he has Natural knockout power And he can knock anybody out Did he make any adjustments? i never seen him make a goddamn adjustment In his damn career So to expect him in a third fight His name is Deontay Wilder by design Okay, the Which guy is, is wild amazing. That's fun He throws wild punches He can show a little discipline But once he hurts you ah! yeah, he throws. And he goes looking for Harrison straight away oh, the first But it works it's effective. Can knock is effective. No, it's effective. It's effective. And you don't know where the hell those fucking stringy punches is coming from. And look, if he comes back and knocks Tyson Fury out, he's the fucking man. And no, it's only no. You bugging? It only proves that you shouldn't wear a shredder suit before a fight, especially a championship fight. No. All he gotta do is get lucky. He he. That's true. All he needs is to be perfect for one minute, one second. He has that type of gift. Is he gonna develop any uh, boxing skills? I highly fucking doubt it. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. I don't Get the fuck will. out of it. Deontay Wilder needs to say, oh well, he beat my ass. Nobody is surprised, but I can still knock you out. So exactly. Say something that's real. Don't fucking come at us with weak excuses like, we're not stupid. The fans, I mean, we are. there's some stupid fans out there. <laughs> definitely, that they're still pointing out the fucking video talking about, oh, his fist was bendy. Even if he did, I would say, wow, that's amazing. He beat your ass and didn't even have the gloves on right and still beat your ass. That means he was hitting you with empty gloves. What the fuck kind of advantage is that? It's <laughs> not. It's not. I mean, I always thought he threw awkward, weird, flappy punches. He does. Slaps, almost. But, Tyson Fury, right? Yeah. But he, he in this but, fight... He's not the first guy to do that. No, you ever seen give him uh, Nate Diaz? You ever seen Nick Diaz? You ever yeah, seen but this? they don't got big flappy gloves. Yeah, well, they still throw similar weird punches. It's just Some big guy with like boxing it. gloves. Yeah, I mean. Well, anyway, give us your take on Deontay Wilder's experience. So now we want to hear your reaction of their, our reaction of their reaction of ultimately Deontay Wilder's ridiculous statement. We having a reaction orgy. The exceptions of reactions, right?